Hello and welcome back to Tourism Tournaments. Last time I talked about our plans for France and I feel I may have been misinterpreted based upon a couple of comments that I saw. So, what are we going to do with France? Assuming we get to keep it, because that's not a guarantee given what's currently happening and the fact that the entirety of France is currently flashing in front of our eyes. Um, but what is my goal? Well, my goal is that what's going to happen next generation is we're going to die, our heir is going to take over, and our heir is going to have France. What we're going to do for that generation is basically plunder France. We're going to take all the levies and use them for things we want. We're going to take their money. We're going to do all sorts of things to France. We're going to plum, uh, plumb all of that into Frisia and we're going to upgrade Frisia. Whether that's getting men at arms, whether that's upgrading holdings, all that sort of stuff. That's what we're going to do. And then what I expect to happen on succession is that we lose France. What I wasn't meaning was that we're deliberately gonna loot we're deliberately gonna try and lose it as quickly as possible. What I'm meaning is that in the next generation I'm going to do nothing which keeps us having France, right? And basically when I say that, there's only really one thing you can do to guarantee that you can keep two kingdoms. Well, there's two things technically. There are a multitude of things, but the two things we're gonna talk about is first, you can create an empire. If you create an empire, you can hold two kingdoms. Easy, simple. The second one is that uh, we could disinherit everybody but one heir, at which point you can keep two kingdoms. I'm basically saying I'm not going to do those two things, which I think is fair enough, right? Our goal in this series is to stay smaller. What we want to be is a relatively compact unit which is punching above its weight, because that's a much more interesting way I find to play the game than to just do blobbing. I mean, blobbing is fun, right? If we were to take France, we could easily become an empire, we could easily take over all of this within like a generation, but you know, that's not really our goal this time. Our goal is to stay smaller and actually l use some of the mechanics that usually you don't have to worry about. Because, for instance, we don't need to worry about men at arms whatsoever if we wanted to play this game. What we could do is we could say, Nah, I don't need men at arms. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to conquer more land and my levy number is going to be so large. It doesn't matter how many men at arms you have. I have levies. So, yeah, this is kind of a, a philosophical question on how we're going to play. Now, on succession from France, I do expect to lose this land. So what it would be nice to do is when we have France to use their power to potentially secure the rest of Frisia. In particular, I would love to secure Arnhem because what we're doing is we're getting a bunch of bonuses for buildings which are on coastal land. And this would give us the last bit of coastal land which is actually within Dutch territory, which would be very good for us. Anyway, having said all of that, none of it matters because we're currently in a war with France, as in with them as our ally, and we need to figure out what we're doing because currently we're not winning this war. We have 3,000 troops, they have 7,000. Now, we're assuming that France are going to call in East Francia here. You know, 4,400 troops, that would swing the war very much in our favor. The reason they're not calling them in, I think, immediately is because they are already in a war. Which is kind of unfortunate. Now, do they need East Francia for this war? Not particularly, no. They actually don't need East Francia to win this war. So, potentially... Um, they might call East Francia into our other war. Uh, it depends basically whether East Francia would join and whether they have... I think it's prestige to ask them. They should do. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what are we going to do? Who are we actually at war with? We are at war with... Anjou. Okay, so this duchy right here. That's our main target. We're also at war with Mew and with eight others. So yeah, an awful lot of France... So where is your capital? So your capital is here, in Saumur. Maybe a plan for us might be to raise our troops here, embark, go round, and try and get to their capital. What's the fort level? Fort level's three. I think this is possible. Yeah, we could do that. And at the very least, that's going to distract their armies, because I don't think we're going to win in a straight-up fight. Yeah, maybe we do that. Right, uh, I'm going to raise our troops then here. And let's get them on boats. Right, uh, and we'll go speed three so that I don't mess anything up. Immediately. Hey, East Francia joined. Okay, plans changed. Now East Francia's joined. 
Maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we just want to find East Francia's army and try and get there. Yes, yeah, so there's East Francia's army. I've actually changed my mind. I'm just going to head straight for East Francia and we'll merge our power. That seems better. I don't know what this army is doing. I honestly don't really think I want to know. Uh, I think they're going to drop troops on me. Mm, no, they're going to drop troops in f going towards East Francia, maybe? Oh, we are being sieged. Okay. Okay, so who's this sieging over here? The Duchy of Frisia? Wait a second, what? You are in... You're attacking King Roland of France. Wait a second. You're on the other side of the war? Oh. So we're hostile to our own vassal? So he... Wait. We're hostile to our own vassal, so he's sieging his own land? Yes? Huh. Alright, I don't think I've ever seen a, someone siege their own land, but you know what? Sure, go for it. You know, you do you. Um, we'll leave him alone for just now. We also do need to figure out what to do with him. He hates us now, doesn't he? Oh, their troops are now no, no longer sieging their own land. Well, that, that that's an improvement. Uh, he doesn't awfully... Yeah, he's our rival. We should probably get rid of his land uh, at some point, but... You know, I don't really want to, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Right, I would love to get in here. Start joining East Francia. Nice. Uh, I'm going to attach ourselves. I think I just let East Francia control us. That way the AI knows what it's working with. They should win. It's not like we have enough troops to actually do anything by ourselves. So let's just attach and see what happens. So Frisia are walking at us. Are we going to be forced to fight Frisia? That doesn't seem right, right? Surely we wouldn't fight our own vassal. Um, also, that's a pretty good uh, battle win there. We lost 78. They lost 819. That's crazy. Okay, so we are crushing them. That'll be another good one. 33 to 101. That's actually not even as good a ratio. Okay, so they went on boat, so they're not actually going to raid us, or not raid us, uh, siege us, which is a positive. They shouldn't, because we're not in the same war, right? We're just hostile to them, so they should actually go and siege France, but we'll see. Shifting interests. I was watching Prince Conrad play with other children when Bond tried to push him over. The moment did not last long, as Conrad soon had made an entirely new game out of it and forgotten the previous game entirely. He can be fickle. So this isn't going to be our heir, right? No, this is going to be Kingdom of France. Fickle, wrathful, or forgiving. I guess we'd prefer if he was forgiving. Yeah. Uh, also, on, on that matter, it has been suggested that I could give um, him a guardian. I think we have him with a guardian, right? Yeah, it looks like his um, regent gave him a guardian. We could potentially change it, though, to a better one. Even though we won't convert culture, we can find him a guardian who's going to get him an actual good trait at the end of the uh, education. Like, I think geniuses give you the best. Ah, nobody. Do we have any intelligent people who are available? We do. Okay. So let's get you to educate him. That'll be fine. He also moves to stay at our court. Oh, no, wait. Oh, she moves to stay at his court. Oh, that's, that's fine. Yeah, not a problem. Right. We're following that army. Great. We're going to attack, be in another battle. Or not. I'm assuming at some point we'll catch them. We did. Fantastic. We defeated another army. 45 for 280. And they're continuing to chase them down. So why are they getting taken war score? Are th there's no taking war score. Okay, it's just because they've sieged uh, Bree. Okay. Well, it's fine then. Don't know what the French army is doing, if I'm honest. Uh, they appear to be just going off and doing their own thing. Uh, we are losing battles here. I guess what this army is doing is it must be in the other war. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong person. There we go. That must be in this war that we're, we've been contributing to. Yeah, battles won. Okay. You're defending against this person in the K France one. So this is me. And then you're in another one, which is defending against Duke Aubrey of uh, Neustria in the Liberty War. Okay. Well. 
well, we'll just continue helping. I mean, I guess as long as we're helping in a war, it doesn't really matter which war we're helping in, in particular. That's fine. Right. They're moving us around. Oh, are we fighting this army? I don't know what bat what uh, war this is in, but sure. This is um, Frisia. We're fighting Frisia, so this is the other war again. Uh, it's so weird to me that we're fighting our own vassal. I mean, I get it. It's because France haven't called us into this war, but like, if France would, you know what? If I offer to join the war, can I offer to join that other war? Uh, you're fighting one of their opponents in another war. You're fighting Duke Hughes the Second in another war. Okay, yeah. So I I can't join it because we have people who were already fighting in other wars. In okay, that seems weird, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, you've got us on a nine-month siege. Is this the best plan? I guess so. Learned of Enfrith's attempted murder secret. You attempted to murder who? Enfrith attempted to murder Swanhildis. Oh. Okay. Sure. Not a huge deal for me. Happy to continue sieging. Uh, this is going to take a while. You have left the war um, for the Kingdom of France because you're dead. Okay, that's fair. How are all the wars looking? Well, one of the wars is over, which is definitely good. Uh, the, it was the war that Frisia was in is over. Oh, wonderful. Well, it's great to see. Uh, I'm actually going to split my army here, as in detach them. Because I want to continue the siege no matter what. Uh, so, yeah, if Francia goes off, I want to keep the siege going. Also, I'm basically telling the AI here, I'm happy for you to leave. I'll keep the siege going. We'll see if that works. Um, so, King Wolfram of Bavaria lost against um, Prince Amalrich of East Francia in a liberty war. So, that now means that Bavaria has a new king, I think. Wait. No, it means the crown authority is lower. Liberty, not tyranny. Uh, which means this war doesn't really matter. It's this war that matters at the most. Because we don't really care if the crown authority goes down. Okay. We could maybe go speed 5 here. Just for the siege, you know? Agents at court. I have discovered agents at my court. Obviously an employer of my rival and vassal, Duke Thorbjorn. However, when I demanded they be withdrawn, the Duke denied everything. Well, that is not ideal. Diplomacy perk available. Ooh. Um, we probably don't actually need any more diplomacy perks. Maybe should have switched. Unless we want to just go down here and get this one. Hmm. Um, we could also buy artifact claims, which would then allow us to declare wars for artifacts. That's potentially interesting. You know what? I'm kind of in. I'm sold. Let's go down to Diplomat. The reason I'm sold is that gives us something we can potentially do with our, um, yeah, it gives us something we can potentially do with our armies later if we decide to invest in them, which would be good. Frisia got construction slowdown. That's not ideal. Uh, reattach to, I don't know, that one. Go. Okay, we're chasing. We caught him. We have won that battle. Was that battle in this war? No. Okay. That battle must have been in their other war. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that was in their other war. Apparently, we're only capable of winning battles in the other war. This war, it is impossible to win battles in. We shall merely siege. Okay. Uh, this is fine. We'll keep sieging. Looks like they might be going for France's capital. In fact, they're going to succeed. If nobody stops them. We're also out of money. It's not really ideal. Do we have any... Oh. A knight's declaration. It's a poem to my wife. Hmm. Um. Do you have any money? No. I think I might just tell them to stop it. That'll do it for just now. Okay. What happened to the siege that we were involved in? Did we de-siege something? Not entirely sure. Okay, well that's fine. Um, 
this okay? Yeah, we must have DC'd something. So that Liberty War is going in favor of, uh, yeah, it's going in favor of France, but we need to stop this. Let's head up there. Let's see whether they'll join us. Uh, why is it, why is it a negative? Owner is slightly in debt. We have a better army commander. Hmm. I don't think we're going to win. Although this one allows us to ignore river crossings, which is why we're not taking any negative from it. Ah, I kind of want to just break the siege. I'm hoping that if I d go in, then that's going to drag East Francia up. I don't think we're going to win. I think I want to do it anyway. Roland has come of age. Fantastic. He's now an indulgent wastrel, which is not ideal, but you know, it's fine. You'd like me to join the Northman army conquest of the Duchy of Neustria? Sure, I'm in. Let's go. Right. I, again, I don't think I'm going to win. I think what I'm going to do is I'm potentially going to drag East Francia up. You going to move? Nope, they're stuck. They will not move under any circumstances. Okay, well, I threw my army in knowing what I was doing. Oh, there we go. Now they're moving. They're too late, though. It's going to get sieged. It did get sieged. Okay, did they capture um, leader? Nope. Okay, they didn't capture him, which is what I was hoping to avoid. Okay, I did eventually convince them to move, though. At least that's what I'm going to say. I've helped them move up and attack this one here. Wonderful. Uh, we're going to head to... Actually, we're going to disband our army. And we're going to wait for them to reinforce here while saving up a little bit more cash to come back for the second half of the war. Right. So how's this looking? 28%. Hmm. Yeah, due to friendly capital occupied. We are, of course, being raided a lot. This just happens, unfortunately. Not a lot we can really do about it unless we're going to raise troops. Uh, but I don't really have any troops to raise because they were all in France. Okay. This is fine. You know what? Let's hold court. Uh, a call to war. Uh, you want me to help you in a war for Kent? Um, no, I mean, like, yeah, you're, you're welcome to stay if you want, but, like... Really, I'm, uh, like, I'm kind of busy. Uh, my brother strides forward, clearly eager to hear my response to his petition. My brother is galling for a great house like Folk Walding to have the threat of revocation hanging over us like mere barons or tenants. Let us ensure the stability of the kingdom is not threatened by trivial disagreements. So we can change it to protected title revocation. Demand sacrifices in return so we can get a county out of it, maybe. Only if their borders are never altered, force partition. In exchange for greater commitments, of course. Increase feudal taxes, or is it not enough to be a duke? Let's take the 50% chance of taking a title off of him. Aha! There we go. So we can't revoke his titles, but we just gained a new title. My uncle-in-law takes a turn, bending my ear before the assembled court. Glorious liege, give me the honor of protecting you from your enemies and serving at your side. I will not let you down. This is Enrith. My acclaimed knight. What, well, you want to be my bodyguard? Um, not really. I can't really afford it. Sorry, Inrith. But hey, we got an extra bit of land, which is building crop fields. That's quite nice. Yeah. Uh, once we increase control in that, that's going to pay us, like, some good amount of cash. Okay. Um, you're now in my, um, Knight of the Serpent, apparently. Okay, what happened to my previous Knight of the Serpent? Um, Knight of the Serpent. Can we see, like, a succession for this? There was a new successor, which is this random mayor. But, um, like, can I see a succession for Knight of the Serpent? No. I guess it did. people don't think it's that important. Okay, I'm assuming that means the previous guy is dead, but okay. Wolfram has lost against Croatia in an independence war. So there's now an independent Croatia minus uh, Dubrovnik. Okay. Interesting. Um, well, we still need a little bit more money. We almost have our troops reinforced, though. Negotiate alliance. Conrad II would like an alliance. Sure. Why not? That gives me an extra diplomacy, I think. As that gives us three allies, so we should get three diplomacy from it. Yeah. Cool. That's pretty good. I'll take it. 
Uh, we're being raided. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm very aware of us being raided. There's, again, not a lot I can do about it. Hello, Prince Arnold. Thank you for the renown. It's good for both of us. Agents at court. Yeah, there are people in my court from Frisia. You know, honestly, like, would you just give me your title? No, I thought I'd have a look, but he, he's very much like a no on that one. What about, like, just one of them? No. Okay. So I'm gonna have to raise up troops and fight him for it, which, you know, that, that has its own problems if I want to get rid of him. I'd just like it if he'd stop trying to kill me. That would really be appreciated at this point. My son was just taken prisoner by Duke Hughes of Anjou. Wonderful. Good to know. Good to know. Who's his heir? My other son. Okay, well, he might at least inherit some land. How's the war in France going? 90% here. Is that because they've got taking war score? Yes, I think that... Wait, I think so? Air captured, battles lost. Yeah, the rest is ticking. So they've got 61% war score plus a little ticking war score. I can actually check here, right? Yeah, they got 11%. Okay, and that's because they've now captured air. Yeah, it's a problem. I don't really know how I'm going to help. I could raise up some troops and do our original plan, which is raise up some troops and siege. Is there anything near here that has, like, incredibly low fort limit or fort size? It has to be in Anjou, so it's probably here. So this is probably our best bet if we want to try and siege something. Like, that, that one right there. Do we think we can make it? I think there's a chance. Uh, you should pay a ransom for your son. Yeah, I would love to pay a ransom for my son, except I have no money. Uh, that's kind of my problem. I, I have absolutely no money. Hmm. Ah, oh, yeah, I was going to check if there was a way to get money here. Uh, no holy order has enough gold. Pope! Where are you? You want to give me some money? I do not have 250 piety. He would give me money if I had the piety, though. Well, that's okay. Alright, well, you know, let's throw caution to the wind. We have to win the war. So, raise our troops. Get on boats that we can't afford. Yep, really cannot afford. Hey, somebody paid a ransom. There we go. Taking war score now doesn't matter nearly as much. I'm going to head around here and we're going to siege. In the hopes that we take away their taking war score. Hopefully this works. Nine months left. Well, this is very optimistic. Um, we'll see how this goes. The Northmen army at the same time is just very funny. You learned of Duke Thorbjorn's attempted murder secret? Who did you attempt to murder, Duke Thorbjorn? Was it me? No, it was, it was Judith. I, I'm sorry, it doesn't look like he attempted to murder Judith. It, oh, she was killed during a raid? I was going to say, it looks like he succeeded quite well. All right, you know what? I'm going to blackmail you. Let's do that. We can use that. That means he can't plot against us because it's a strong hook, which is good. So let's grab Diplomat. Gets us extra diplomacy. And then I'm going to pivot. And I think I need to pivot to money uh, right now. We just need pure money. Uh, I could go this one for stewardship and agent acceptance down. I think that's going to work pretty well. Yeah, and then we'll try and get golden obligations to earn a little bit. Uh, we almost have enough that the Pope will give us some, though. Okay. One more tick and the Pope gives us money. Hey, hey! We can ask our Head of Faith for 100 gold. Thank you, Head of Faith. I really appreciate it. And now, once we finish this siege, we got 6 gold, but we have also, in theory, we haven't taken away Ticking War Score. Why not? Oh, do we have to take the whole thing to get rid of the Ticking War Score? We've contributed. We have contributed war score. Right? Because Kingdom of France? Or do they get taken war score if they hold any of France? If it's that, then we're kind of screwed. But I think it's if they control all of their own titles. Then they, um, for this type of war. Might be wrong, though. Hmm. Although I guess that wouldn't make, yeah, I guess maybe it is if they hold any of France. Hmm. That's not all that are that's not all this war, right? You really have six thousand troops. you really do have six thousand troops and they're all here. East Francia has nobody left. Alright, well I'm gonna keep sieging. 
and we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I thought that that would be ticking war score, but I guess it's not. So really, I need East Francia to come back with another set of <laughs> troops. All right, we're not getting France. I, I have realized this. Count Adelaide's claim on France. Oh yeah, I'll accept your war. Sure. Sure. Count me in. I'm all in on your war for France. Um, King Milo of East Francia has joined this new war. We got Fascination Ledger. Wonderful. That means, in theory... Look at that. We got a new building slot. We can build more trade ports. Right. Back over here. Uh, we could go for... You know what? Let's screw this siege. Let's go for the um, let's go for the Hail Mary. If I can get their their leader, then that gets us a hundred percent. Although their leader shouldn't be at home. It looks like their leader is actually over here. But we could get like some airs or something. White piece. Leviathan. We've had this event. Uh, I'm gonna take the fifty gold. I need it. Yes, we have killed a beautiful creature. However, um, have you considered we now have fifty golds? We have lost our court physician because he is currently be in jail from this guy. Okay. <laughs> really prefer if you hadn't done that. Uh, right. Where are we? Yes, this one. Innovations. It went on to bailiffs automatically, which is building slots. I don't think we need that right now. Battlements could be cool. Um, what else have we got in here? Cass's belly. Barracks? I think barracks seems good, right? Potentially mustering grounds, but we're not hitting that level of, um... That's, that's 10 years anyway. Don't think we need to work on that. Um, but yeah, we're not hitting that level of men-at-arms. Maybe we start working on... I think battlements could be good. It gives us the next level of things. I think that could definitely be good here. Seeing what else we've got, whether there's anything that's really good. Development growth is quite nice, I guess. Um, yeah, let's go for battlements. I think that's the best one for us right now. Because we're, that's going to be the next tier of uh, buildings uh, locked behind it. Formed a new alliance. Oh, lovely. Well, at least they're letting us siege their capital for free. That's kind of nice. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll see how long that lasts. Yeah, they're not even coming for us. That's kind of funny. There are Lollards and Balaton. Okay, well, good luck. Uh, we're not going to do that. Okay, more people are converting with them. Is that France coming down here to help with the siege? They're like, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, France are just ignoring it for some reason. Did we capture anybody? No. All right, we made 23 gold, though. That's not bad. Um, yeah, it didn't get rid of ticking war scores, so it must be they control any French land, which is a very difficult goal to uh, undo, because we would have to de-siege all the land that they've sieged. Really, we need something to get us a white piece here, or we need to capture their leader. The problem with that is you really need East Francia, East Francia to come back in with the size of army they started with, and that's not going to happen. So, I don't know. Go here. Um, oh, that is French land. That's fine. I've already head over here and start sieging that bit. I take attrition. Oh, right, because you're heading down here to see uh, to de siege. So let's head down and help. Our daughter has come of age. Wonderful. Uh, we'll find her someone to marry in a bit. We're, we're, we're working on other problems right now. Seventeen months to siege this, huh? That's gonna take a while, huh? 17 months. Oh, okay. Well, let's keep sieging. There's not really like anything else is going to happen here. I think they're going to siege the capital and then that's going to be the end of it. My rival and vassal Duke Thorbjorn has a contract with me that is quite lenient, exempting him from many of the obligations I would typically expect from one of my vassals. Um, We can try and talk him into increasing the uh, feudal taxes. I think we'll do that, yeah. I think we'll do that. Invalidated? Whoa, 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 whoa. Free once more. Roland has been re- My son Air Prince Roland has been released. So he was imprisoned, right? Yeah, we're not getting France. Okay, King Hamelin is in charge of France now. 
uh, from a different line of people entirely. My son was imprisoned. My son is now being sent back to France. I would really like it if he were to come and join me. Oh no, he still holds the county of Beaumont. So now, it turns out all we're going to do is inherit Beaumont and Montfort. Which is kind of what I wanted in the first place. But okay, so Roland is now there. He is now paying me extra feudal taxes. That's lovely. He doesn't like it, but he's now paying me extra feudal taxes. He's giving me no levies. Okay. Right, let's disband. Alright. So, I'm quite a fan of his family. However, I'm not a fan of him. I think we could um, take his titles and then pass them out to his son, probably. I think that would probably be fine. Hey, you. I'm going to revoke your titles, and there's nothing you can do about it. Nobody's going to be mad, either. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, revoke title. Okay. We lost a ton of stress because he left court. His son, I'm going to invite back to court. Wait, does that invite Thorbjorn? Hmm. I'm not a huge fan of having my rival in court. That's the problem. <laughs> I, w I was just thinking I would just invite him and give him the land. I don't know. Sure, let's invite them. I can almost dismiss that guy in particular. Right, Thorbjorn. I dismiss you. Everyone is very mad because I dismissed all because it dismisses all of them. Okay, never mind. Sven. Sven, I'm going to give you. I guess I want to keep some of this. I might give him I could always take both duchies and just give him a bit of land to put us under. Yeah. You know what? We could do that. Um let's figure out what I want. Maybe I want to keep Dutch. Let's maybe change what we're holding. As I could hold... Well, we we currently have Holland, Ostfriesland, Zealand, Fron, uh, Ningen, and then Frisia. What if I just held these two duchies here? What if I held Holland, all of it, which of course we do right now, and then I held all of Frisia, which I do right now? Then we hold two duchies, and we don't get any uh, negative opinion for not holding the de jure duchies. Oh, yeah. You know what? You? You get to keep your land, but you're going to get that land instead. Yeah. There we go. Uh, now, question. Did your father go with you? Yes. Good. That's fine. His heir is his good daughter. He is not a huge fan because he wants to be on the council, but other than that, he's fine. Right. End of war, that's just invalidated because all the France wars are invalidated because they were all wars for the kingdom except for the Northman army war. But we're not in it anymore because that he's not our ally. It's a different France, basically. Right. Next step, council positions. Yeah, sure. You can have that position. That's fine. Right. So now, we hold all of that, which is better land for us to hold. And, yeah, he's increasing development in it. So now I actually want to increase um, control in our lands directly. It would probably be like our capital would be good to increase control in again. Good, let's do that. We can transfer you to my brother. Which would make our brother like us more. Actually, that is better. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. So you can have your land back, but with somebody else running it. So then, I need a new steward. This could be my new steward. Or do I have somebody better? You're pretty good at it. I could reassign you and then put the diplomacy guy in as my chancellor. Is he my best steward? He is. Okay. So let's reassign you. Put the diplomacy guy in as my chancellor. He's going to make everybody like us. That seems much better. So now, we hold this instead. Which will be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I think this will be fine. Negotiate alliances. Do you want an alliance yet? Yeah. Okay. Wait, but he is in a war. In a liberty war with Therengia. That's not a war that he's actually in. I'm going to do that. For Jaspart. Yeah, let's get an alliance with him as well. Okay. Reason I'm grabbing two alliances here, by the way. Uh, not just randomly grabbing them. 
that does give us um where is it is it embassies i think it's embassies uh, yes due to embassies that gets us um our maximum of five um diplomacy so we're now fully diplomatically brilliant which is good made a worthy successor to the knight of the serpent which means we need to go looking for one but we're still saving up to 2000 prestige Wait, so that we can do this. Wait, did I already do this? No. So I need 2,000 prestige so I can reform the Dutch culture. Okay. I'm going to wait a couple of months. We're going to let our money sort itself out. And then we'll see where we're at. Yeah, so now some of these are actually giving us the amount that they should. Uh, like this is now actually giving us tax. Frisia is now actually giving us tax. Even if it's not max, it's only reduced by 6%. That's fine. Uh, although there are some other negatives on it as well. You've kept your land for just now. That's fine. Okay. I think we've inadvertently got into quite a good position with her realm. What's happening to Bavaria? The Italian claim on the kingdom of Bavaria. So Italy is declared for Bavaria and they're using Lotharingia, which is why that part of Bavaria is sieged. Also, my god, Corsica. <laughs> that is the largest Corsica I think I've ever seen. Um, now I believe that, yeah, so that is also all a duchy. Yeah, not a kingdom. Despite being the size of a kingdom. Their duchy is larger than our kingdom in terms of actual land. That's crazy. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, things are going a little bit mad. We're now making 2.1 actually. And we can think for a second. Now, one thing I did want to bring up in the episode is it has been suggested we really should invest in our men at arms. And I've been trying to figure out a way of making that worth it for us, right? Because what I don't want to do is I don't want to buy a ton of men at arms and then have to pay to hold a bunch of men at arms, right? Because I don't want to have to pay their salary and then just have them sitting around doing nothing, right? Even fighting off raiders, I'm 50-50 I'm on that, right? I would much prefer to build buildings and get passive income. So... Um, what I was thinking is actually, what we could do is we could get them and then we can start doing some of this, um, buy artifact claim. We find artifacts that we want, we buy a claim on them and we just start, you know, eating up, uh, artifacts, which then makes, uh, gives us passive bonuses, which would then be good, I think. Oh, you can go to the Royal Court from there now. That's cool. But is there a way of seeing artifacts? Yeah, see, we could open his inventory and we could go, ah, well, actually, I'd quite like that fine sword or something. So we could go in here and buy our artifact claim. Oh, even ones that he's got in his court as well. We could say, oh, look at this chest. I would like that. I'm going to buy one. Now, we do need quite a lot for the chest, but for the cheaper stuff, we should be, it should be possible. What about this one? Yeah, you see, like, we could buy this for 1,500. How about for the even cheaper stuff? Yeah. 375. So we could start buying these and just taking them if we wanted them. I think that's it's probably worth like some thinking about. Maybe it is worth fighting off the uh, uh, raiders as well. I'm not entirely sure. Like, it may be more efficient to fight them off and then earn more money from the holdings due to them not getting destroyed by raiders. But, you know, I don't know. Anyway. Um, I do also want to build trade ports everywhere. Basically, I just need more money, I think, is the other problem here. Uh, my daughter has married this person. Wait, is that the dot? Wait, whoa, whoa. My daughter has married you. Is that my... Oh, that was my unmarried daughter. She actually went and found somebody to marry. Oh, was she not in my... She might not have been in my court. That might be why she was able to do that. Usually, it waits for you. I mean, that's fine. It's not great, obviously. I mean, it's fine-ish. Yeah, we don't really care too much, but... Hmm, okay. Um, how about you? Are you in my court? You're in, our, you're in my court. Cool, and you've got an educator? Yeah, okay. So we have one son that we're actually educating. We have this son over here who's been off doing their stuff. Okay, things have got... We're a little crazy. There was a little chance of us getting France until the 1,000 Wars of France. And now, we're at peace. And I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.